Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Prize Picks video. In this one, we're talking about the NBA for Monday, February 12th. Hope you guys had a good Super Bowl weekend. This one, we're going hard on the NBA for the rest of the season. In the private Discord, we do have a ton of cappers, five plus cappers now giving out NBA picks, NHL picks. So, Definitely get over here. It's less than a dollar per day. We've been hitting some huge slips. You can see over here, go Jags Duval. Hit a ton of slips over the weekends. We don't usually make videos over the weekends, but we do post picks. Coley over here hit another massive six-pick slip. His second in the past week. Also, VA God over here hitting some big slips with the demon picks in here. Extra multiplier, so... Definitely check it out over the weekend. A ton of big hits. So if you guys want access to all those picks, definitely join up. Less than a dollar per day to check it out. So we'll see you over there. Top of the description for the link or the pinned comment. In this video, we're talking about an NBA. So the five picks here for you guys to consider. The first one we're going to go to, I mean, starting it out, we have Taco here on a Monday. We've been getting tacos all over the place. Uh, it just disappeared on me. I don't know what happened right there, but we have sliced picks over here. So if you're not on price picks, definitely click the link down below to get on price picks here. They're having cut props all the time, but the one we want to go to here is going to be Trey Young on the points plus the rebounds here. We're going to get this line at 26 and a half, taking the over on this one. This is a line that Trey Young has hit a good amount this season. You can see over here, on Outlier, which is a tool that I use every single day to look at player props. They have some of the best data over here. And you get a seven-day free trial if you want to check it out. He hit this over point plus rebound 26.5. 63% of the time this season didn't hit it the first five games. So if you take those games out, he's hit this in 30 of 43 games. An absolutely crazy number. You can see in the last 10, he's hit this 70% of times. Last 20, 65% of games. It's a pretty good matchup here against Chicago. It is a team that has done pretty well defensively as of late, but Trey Young has just been on absolute tear. So I'm thinking that this is going to be a good spot for him here. And yeah, you can see in his last nine games, he's just in seven of nine of his last games. So he's been an absolute monster hitting this one. We're going to go to Trey Young here in a great matchup spot that he's just been hitting a lot against Chicago so we're gonna go to Trey Young here over 26 and a half points plus the rebounds then for our second pick we're gonna go to Jakob Podol against his former team the San Antonio Spurs over on the points of 11 and a half Podol has been hitting this line you know like half the time this season but as of late has been pretty good also facing his former team I think he's going to be in a good spot. So let's look at some data over on Outlier as well for Podol. You can see Jakob Podol over on the points. He's hit this 57% time this season. So pretty good stat. Didn't hit in his first three games. His last 10, he's been hitting this one in 70% of games. And when he gets the minutes, he's... You know, hitting this good amount. Last game, absolute blowout. They lost by 24 points here. And then another blowout. He played just 20. We see another blowout here. He played 27 minutes. He's usually going to play like 30 plus minutes. And I really like him, especially if he's going to play that many minutes in a game. We think it's going to be pretty close. San Antonio versus Toronto. On Outlier, you could look at games where he's just played a certain amount of minutes. So let's just look at games where he's only played 30 minutes this year. He said this in 82% of games. But that's only happened in 11 games out of the 42 games that he's played. But as of late, he's been playing a lot more minutes in a really good spot here. Something he's hit on the season 57% of the time. And when he plays the minutes, which he should in a game that's going to be probably pretty close. We definitely like Podol here on this line. So we're going to go ahead and lock this one in for Podol against the Spurs. In a really good spot. Definitely liking this one. And then for the third pick, we're going to come over here to Outlier. Their favorite NBA pick of the night is going to be Vucevic under 11.5 rebounds. Basically how Odds Jam works is they have a free trial down below for seven days. 
for free plus 25% off if you want to use it after that. They're going to compare lines on prize picks and other player prop sites like Underdog and Fliff and compare them to like DraftKings and what they have on their player props. So for prize picks, under 11.5 rebounds for Vucevic, you can see sites minus 140 on Caesars and minus 139 on Pinnacle, which is the sports hook that I think has the sharpest odds. They're really liking him on the under of 11.5 rebounds against the Atlanta Hawks. So we're going to go ahead to Vucevic, lock him in on the under of 11.5 boards. We can also look at this one over on Outlier and see what he's been hitting on this season so far. So on just the straight rebounds, this is a line on the over. He's only hit 40% of the time this season. And as of late, it's not like he's been hitting this a lot either. He's only been hitting this 40% of the time. If you do look at the last five games, I guess he's been hitting it in three of the last five. But if you look at the last eight games, you know, different story. He's hit this in three of the last eight games. So it's not a line he's been hitting a ton. Atlanta on the rebounds, they do give up the 23rd most in the league. But if you look at them against centers, they do just give up the 13th. So they are in the bottom half of the league as far as giving up rebounds at just over 11 per game. So for these reasons, sportsbooks really like it. This is the Odd Jam favorite NBA pick of the day as of right now. And we're going to go with this one. Vucevic on the under of 11.5 boards. A pretty high line here. So the next one we're going to go to is going to be Siakam. We're going to go to another under. On the under of his PRA, Siakam's been playing pretty well for Indiana. They are playing Charlotte. Going to be a fast-paced game in this one. But we do like the under on this high line. Siakam has taken a bit of a dip in stats with Indiana Pacers versus with the Toronto Raptors. And let's come over here and look at this one over on Outlier, you can see that his PRA on the over of 31.5 is something he's at just 48% of the time this season. But if we look at his last 10, you know, these are going to be most of the games with the Pacers. He's hit this just 40% of the time. And his last eight games with the Pacers, he's hit this in just two of eight or 25% of the time with the Pacers. And his scoring and assists have definitely been down, and his rebounds really haven't been there as well. So we're going to go to the under here. Last two games, under 20 points, under four assists in the game. So we're liking the unders for Siakam in this one on the PRA. Just overall just hasn't been as good statistically wise with the Hornets. So we're going to go under for Siakam here against the Charlotte Hornets. And then... For the next pick, we're going to go to Kaminga, a guy we've been playing a lot here. We're just going to go over him on the straight points. He's been an absolute monster with the Warriors as of late once they've basically like unleashed him. He's been their second best player, like undoubtedly, in the last 15 games or so once he's been playing these minutes. Gets an insanely good matchup here against Utah, who plays really fast-paced, but will keep most games close. And I think it's going to be a close, high-scoring game. Kaminga just needs 21 points, which may seem high if you were looking at this one two or three weeks ago. But as of late, just has been a line. He's been absolutely smashing. So we're going to Kaminga here in a great matchup. You can see on the season, he's hit this 24% over the time. But in his last 10 games, he's hit this in seven of the last 10. And then we can actually look at the last 20 here, but he wasn't getting the big minutes until around here. So if you really count these last seven games out, you could say he's hit this in nine of his last 13 games. So he's been smashing this. So you can see the minutes bump here when he started getting 29 minutes or more in all of these games up to here. So he's been getting the minutes as of late. We can look in 2023. Again, he's hit this in 24% of the time. But if you give him at least 30 minutes per game, he's hit this in 55% of games. Great spot here against Utah, who gives up the 24th most points in the league. So really liking Kaminga, who's been playing extremely well here on 
the points. So if you guys want to get over here in the private Discord, people have been hitting over here. You can see Ghost over here hit a slip. And over the weekend, Demon God hitting some Demon picks over here for a massive payout. We could see Gooch hitting a 6 for 6, including a Demon here in the private Discord. The gold member over here is going to be in the private Discord. So massive hit. So definitely check them out. Go Jags Duval has been hitting a ton of slips. So definitely check it out. It's less than a dollar per day to get access to 5 plus cappers and their picks in the private Discord. So we'll see you over there and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's all going to be linked down below in the description or in the pinned comment. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.